way that the main rooms of the living space and an Eichler flow into one another, um, you know, lends itself to good acoustics. Uh, you know, if you stand in a typical boxy room that's got drywall in the walls and acoustic ceiling or something, you, you clap your hands in a room like that and you're not going to hear a flattering sound. It's not, that's my, that's my acid test. It's like, clap my hands and see what happens to the, to the sound. And when we first walked in here, I did that. And I just thought, wow, we could make a great record in this house. And um, that's exactly what we've sort of proceeded to do over the years is, is do more and more recording here because sound, they just reflect off the various surfaces and they can flow freely around in the kitchen. They go back into the living room. We've mic'd up, we've mic'd up drums that are in the kitchen. Uh, down, down the hall, we've put microphones near the fireplace. We've, we've done every permutation of microphone placement and uh, it just there's always some new sound that this house can can give and I think that that's maybe kind of a unique thing you know because I don't think a lot of houses unless they were really large would would afford you that that kind of acoustical uh, luxury and um, yeah so we basically use the house as a recording studio one of my first memories uh, as a as a child was in the winter time, like crawling down the hall on the original tile floor of our Eichler in Foster City, and just I don't know, you know, I knew it was warm on the floor, and so I didn't mind spending time just like kind of crawling around and like looking out the windows at the garden, and uh, that was a really cool thing, and you know now having grown up and, and bought our own house, there, there, there are elements to the, to the radiant heat that I never even considered. Uh, you know, we obviously rented apartments on, on the way to buying our house, and they all had forced air heat, and um, I've always had bad sinuses. And so if you, you're just blowing dust around, basically, uh, and you're heating up the air. Is the other thing you're doing, and the air doesn't stay warm for very long in the winter. So, the idea that you're heating up the floor, and that the floor is heating up the furniture, and that the floor is heating up the walls, and that everything is warm, it just becomes like a really nice, comforting thing in the winter. Yeah, gosh, what would I say about that? I guess the main, the main part of the house that I've thought about that uh, in relation to would be the garage because uh, we have a control room, a studio control room in our garage, mm. and we have not done any kind of a construction project to get it to accommodate our control room, but, but there are certainly things that I've, I've thought would be nice to do eventually, and um, yeah, the fact that you're, you're, the structure of our house isn't buried and it's very it's very clear what you could do and what you couldn't do, and uh, you know I do appreciate that. It's it's almost kind of modular in that way. Yeah, I think I think it's great to know that you know we live in a a part of the the state where there's like what twelve thousand or so of these same kinds of houses, and um, there fortunately are, are are you know skilled people who know how to take care of these places. Uh, they can take care of the plumbing. There's people that know how to take care of the roofs. There's people that know how to how to remodel different aspects of these kinds of houses. And I think that that's that's always reassuring. You know, you know that you don't have this one thing that is a, a mystery. You know, there's there's a way to there's a way to go about fixing these things and, and doing it right. And uh, mm -hmm. and that's that's nice to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think of 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 our close friends, I think we're the only ones that own an Eichler, mm. so it's a, kind of become part of our aesthetic, I guess, and uh, it's part of part of who we are. And you know, that said, there there definitely is kind of a community feeling of, amongst people who own them, and you know, just you you know that your neighbors, 
have I've bought one of these for a reason. There, there, there's things that they appreciate about living in a community like this. Mm-hmm. And um, it seems to me that maybe these kinds of places that tend to attract like more creative or artistic people. I'm not totally sure. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's any way to prove that, but uh, if nothing else, it seems like the people that live around us have always been very, you know, welcoming and, and tolerant of, of what we do here, and, and we, we have not necessarily experienced that every place that we've lived. So I, I know that that's, I know that there's a difference, mm. even if I can't quantify it. Kind of become part of our aesthetic, I guess, and uh, part of part of who we are.